In this video, we discuss the database concept of referential integrity. So as we know by now, databases can hold vast amounts of information and often need to support multiple simultaneous users. Large databases, such as those used by the NHS or police, can have millions of records and thousands of active users. Users can be given different access rights to a database. Some will only be able to query the database and run reports, whereas others will be able to add and modify records, and a select few may be allowed to delete old records. All these different database queries result in multiple transactions taking place, often at the same time. It is vital that this process never causes a database to become inconsistent or corrupt. If transactions cause the database to become inconsistent, we can no longer guarantee its accuracy. No matter what type of transaction is taking place, the database management system ensures that the data stored in the database remains consistent. The process of maintaining the consistency of the database is known as data integrity. The definition is that data integrity is the maintenance and consistency of data in a data store. The data store must reflect the reality that it represents. Being able to guarantee the integrity of data held in a database is of vital importance. A key technique for ensuring data integrity in a relational database is known as referential integrity. And this refers to the accuracy and consistency of data within a relationship. In this example, a bank is using a database to store the detail of its employees. The employee details table on the left holds the employee's name, among other things. A separate table called employee salary on the right holds employer's salary information, amongst other things. Let's say we want to remove an employee from the database that has now left the bank. We would delete their record in the employee details table. Of course, they also exist in the employee salary table. We could manually remove them from there too. However, this kind of procedure is prone to mistakes. The problems made worse is references to the employee are held in several other tables, we risk being left with orphaned entries that relate to an employee who no longer exist, and thus we are start to end up with inconsistent data. One way to maintain referential integrity would be to enforce a cascade delete restraint on the primary key relationship between the tables. Now, if we delete an employee record from the employee details table, any associated rows from the employer's salary table will also be deleted. Referential integrity enforces this process and helps to ensure the integrity of our data. In a similar way, referential integrity can be implemented to prevent us from adding a record into the employee's salary table if there isn't a matching employee for it to link to in the employee details table. Although referential integrity restraints like cascade delete can help us maintain data integrity, they must be used with caution. If we had a cascade delete restraint on the primary key relationship between the tutor group and student tables, what could happen? Say we deleted the record 10E from the tutor group table the deletion would cascade back down the relationship and delete all records of students in 10E from the student table too. Is this really what we want to achieve? What if we're just merging tutor groups? Just because we want to delete tutor group 10E doesn't necessarily mean all the students have left the school. So caution does have to be used. So having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. What do we mean by the term referential integrity?